Hey guys, welcome to another lunch time review. Today I'm going to try this East, Easton's Chicken Pot Pie. It's filled with chicken, carrots, potatoes, and peas in a savory gravy. Uh, it looks pretty decent. Flaky crust made from scratch. 7 ounces or, 120, or 198 grams is how big it is. Uh, we bought these at Save-A-Lot. That Easton's is a Save-A-Lot brand, so they're made for Save-A-Lot. Uh, it was only a 99 cents, so a dollar for a pot pie. That's not too bad, but it's very. it looks very thin. And it sounds like there's a lot of uh, crumbs in here. Uh, 380 calories for the thing, so you can tell it's small just based on the calories because normally uh, pot pies are like, you know, 600 or more. So there's the other info for you. So to make these, we can do this in a conventional oven. Of course, we don't do no stinking ovens, but there it is if you want it. We're going to do the microwave. We're going to place the pot pie in a microwave safe plate. I'm just going to put it on a paper plate. Um, slip the top crust, so I'm just going to knife and put a little slot in it. Um, Microwave high and uh, 1,000 watts for four to five minutes. I'll probably do four and a half. Do not cook below 1,100 watts or you won't cook thoroughly. Um, conventional oven preparation is recommended. Of course, we don't do that on the channel, like I said, but if, if it is preferred, let it stand for three minutes in the microwave. Wow, complete cooking. It's a long time. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get it out and put it on for four and a half minutes and we'll, we'll see what it's like. So let me see where I open this thing at. Just any, either end well stuck like super glue oh not too bad and it's actually got a little slid in already it's just a few crumbs in there um i will probably hold on a little knife and just make another little just to make sure that that vents well because if you don't vent it it tends to um bubble over on the sides so yeah so i'm gonna get this in the microwave uh, for four and a half minutes i'll be back when it comes out hey so i had it in the microwave for four and a half minutes and it has set in there for three minutes to so let it finish cooking like it said um, i usually like to open these up on camera so you can see what's inside of them oh yeah looks good sticking off sticking off forks um it looks like you do get some pastry on the bottom and the sides it's kind of it's there. It's not really thick, but it, it's definitely there. It's a very thin pie, like I said. So I'm going to, I usually break these up because that's how I like to eat my pot pies. I like to break them up, get these um, hunks of crust in there. And like I said, the crust is really, it's really thin on the sides and the bottom. Yeah, you can kind of see what it looks like. So this is what I like to do. I like to mix it all up and then let it all cool off together. And that side crust really wants to stick. Get in there. Yeah. But this is just me. This is how I like to eat them. If you eat them a different way, that's fine too. It works whatever way you want to do it. I like to get them all mixed together. So I'm going to let this cool off for a minute and I'll be back to try it out. All right. So I didn't give it much time to cool off. I want to try some of the crust. The crust is like my favorite part. The crust is not any good, then the pie is not any good. It's actually a good crust. It's um, it's good and flaky, and it's got that look. Um, I like the crispy part, so it gets a little not burnt flavor, but it has a little like a scorched flavor, a little bit like a toasted flavor. There you go. It's like a toasty flavor. I like that. This has that. There is not a lot of veggies and stuff in here. I see some carrots and some peas, a little bit of squares of chicken, like this. This chicken is like these cubes. Oh, so it's a very thin pie as well not bad flavor wise it it's your typical pot pie honestly it's uh it has the crust flavor it's got that um like the sauce in there that's the the pot pie sauce and um, you get the chicken flavor as well because it's all kind of in the sauce um you can also probably not have any chicken in here at all and the the gravy inside the pie would probably be uh, enough to give you the chicken flavor but i do like the chicken um, texture too overall not bad for a dollar pretty good deal um the crust is good it's not super thick at the bottom but that's okay um you do get crust um, all through there and it's, I mean, when I say it's thin, it's very, very, very thin 
on the sides and the bottom. You, the top crust is pretty decent, but the sides and the bottom of the crust is pretty thin. Um, you get enough of the, the gravy and the vegetables and the meat to where you can taste it, but um, just know that it's not like stuffed with, with uh, fillings. Um, it's not on the same level as like a Marie Calendar or a Banquet or something like that, which are really thick. I mean, those pies are really thick too, um, but, but they also cost more. So the flavor wise, it's comparable, but this is a lot smaller. Um, you know, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I really do like the flavors of it. It's not a really salty um, pot pie. Some of them are really, like I have a lot of salt in them. This doesn't have a lot of salt in it. It's a nice uh, textures. The flavors are okay. Um, you know, you're not gonna get wowed by it. I wish the crust on the bottom and the sides was a little thicker, but you know, for a dollar, it's a dollar. So, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go to four out of five. Hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.